a client asked me such a great question, which is, how do I get better at thinking on my feet? It's a fantastic question. And actually, one of the things that I have worked on for three decades to get better at thinking on my feet. And I'm going to give you three tips of what you can do to get better at that. And I know they work because I am like 5,000 times better at thinking on my feet than I was when I started. So again, all my work comes out of my martial arts practice and the work I do with conflict mastery in the workplace. So these three tips I know will help you think on your feet better. So, so tip number one, start a centering practice. What do I mean? Well, centering is a mind-body-spirit phenomenon that is strengthened through practice. And it is what it gives us balance. And it's what we learn in the martial arts. We move from our center because that's where our strength is. And on a physical, in our physical body, our center is about an inch and a half below our navel. And we learn to move from that space rather than through our arms as a way of developing our strength and our power and our, our mobility. Keep in mind, being centered is like being the calm eye in a storm. You are calm, but you're not passive. It's a very active type of thing. And there are a lot of ways to create a centering practice. I've got some audio support that I'm going to put um, instructions to how to access in the notes to this video. But also, just think about it, there's different ways. There are breathing practices, meditation, there are movement that you can do, there is visualization you can do, and working with your mindset. So all those different types of things help you develop a strong center. And when you have a strong center, what happens is it brings balance to your brain, your mind, and your emotions. And so in those intense moments, you have your wits about you. And you might even find some humor in what's going on, but don't laugh. So that's number one, I think probably the most important of these three tips. But listen up because these other tips are important as well. Tip number two is all about intention. And in my work, I talk about different levels of intention, but in this case, the intention that's really important to think through and really embody is what I call your values and purpose-based intention. So it's a deeper level of intention and it's that person that you want to be as you move through your life and thinking about what your values are and how you want to engage in the world. So for example, my purpose-based and values-based intention is to honor myself and others. That's what I take with me. So when a big intense thing comes up, I've embodied that enough that it ha helps me consider what am I going to do in these circumstances. Again, it's another way of me being able to keep my wits about me because I'm really grounded in my values. Tip number three is to have the spirit of curiosity and learning and inquiry and asking questions. Because when you are in those intense situations, if you are the learner, you will again have your wits about you that you'll be able to ask questions, get clarity, and engage in a way that you're more present than if you think you've got to be there with all the knowledge in your head and have all the right answers. So all three of these tips are invaluable if you want to be able to think on your feet. And again, has worked for me tremendously, and I know it'll work for you. So just remember, create a centering practice, and you can't dabble in that. You've got to be serious about it. And then number two is think through your intention and, and really spend some time with that. And it can change over time, and that's fine. And number three, become the learner, become the curious person, because when you enter into any conversation with that spirit, you will always win. And that's it for right now. Thank you so very much for joining me, and until next time, bye-bye.